In this video, I'm going to share with you one of the most exciting new features in DaVinci Resolve 19 called Film Look Creator. Now, this is where you can create a film look in a matter of seconds. And it can look like this, like this, maybe this, or this. And I mean, the, the options are endless. You can play around with it and you can create almost any form look that you want in DaVinci Resolve 19. Now here on my DaVinci Resolve timeline, I've got a behind the scenes shoot here and I'm gonna use this clip uh, for today's tutorial. Now the first thing that you need to do is go to your color page and in the color page, you can go to your effects library and look for form look creator now you can apply this directly to your footage or you can just create a note by dragging this onto that line and it will create this form look creator between your footage and the output and that way you just have a little bit more control over your footage and from the get-go when you apply this filter you got a really cool film look already now this comes with default settings. Now there's a whole lot of different settings to choose from. And I personally like the cinematic one that adds the black bars to the top and the bottom. Now if you filmed with a specific color space, you can select that color space from this dropdown. Or you can just use your timeline settings if you already created uh, your timeline with those specific settings that you filmed with. And here under the, all the different other settings, you can now adjust the exposure, uh, the contrast, the highlights, the fade. I mean, there's a lot of settings that you can adjust. And then there's specific settings that's specific to a film look. Now, the first setting that I want to talk about is split toning. Now, how split toning works is that it separates the highlights and the shadows. And you can basically choose a different color for your highlights and a different color for your shadows. Now, if you adjust the U, you can adjust the colors. And then you've got the balance option there that allows you to um, select the balance between the highlight and the shadows color. Now this is a really neat feature if you want to create like a rich image that's got contrasty colors to them. Now the next setting is a vignette and I'm sure most of you know what that already is. Uh, it's where there's like this dark shadows around your picture and it just creates like a nice moodiness to your image. Now halation is a really cool feature and this creates a really nice film look because back in the day the film looked a little bit foggy and when you increase halation you increase the fogginess around your image. It almost looks like your image is in water and so when you decrease that the image becomes sharper when you increase that it becomes a little bit more foggy. Now the bloom effect creates a really nice glow especially around lights when you increase the amount it creates a nice glow without actually oversaturating the image. Now usually when you apply a, a grain setting to your footage it you know it's evident that it's digital grain but what I really like about this grain setting is that it really looks film like. Now back in the day the film used to have a little bit of a flicker because it was actual film in the camera that was rolling and so it created a flicker and so if you want to create that flicky effect you can either increase the amount or decrease it according to your liking. Now, gate weave is a term that refers to a mechanical swinging of the film strip that goes through the lens. And um, if you want to increase that effect, you can do that here or you can decrease it. But it's really subtle in any case, so I would just leave it as is. And then film gate is basically the aspect ratio of the different film formats that you used to get back in the day. So you can, if you, if you do like to use a certain aspect ratio, you can select that here. And then lastly, you get the global blend. So that's the overall blending of this setting with the original footage. So if you increase that, there's more of the film look over the footage. And if you decrease it, there's some of the original footage that also comes through with this effect. Now, I hope that you are just as excited as I am to play around with this plugin and to explore all the options that it offers. Now, if this video was helpful, please consider liking this video. I'd really appreciate that and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers!